Yeah, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load data from database to table widget in PyQt. First of all, create a window and drag and drop table widget here. Now go to properties video properties window of this uh, table widget. and enter number of rows and number of columns which uh, your table contains you can insert any, any number of column and one drag and drop on push button let's rename it to load whenever, whenever user click on this load button the data will be loaded in this table widget let's change the object name of this button to btn underscore load now save this file now let's convert this file into py code type this command pyuc file hyphen x file name and output file name dot py open this file dot py file first of all import sqlite 3 data library and define a new method which name will be load data and establish a connection object create a connection object of sqlite 3 database using connect method and insert and type database name which is my underscore db i will share this database with you in description my underscore db dot db now create a query variable which contains a query which we are going to fire on database select star from table name which is employees now fire this query and using execute method of python and pass this query spring and store this uh, result into result variable now we are loading data database contains data in a form of uh, rows and columns so we are using a for loop for rows and columns for that for we are giving row number which will contains a number of a row which we are going to insert and row data which will contain a whole row in using enumerate function and passing this result object in this function and this this for loop for for rows row number for row and another for loop for column and let's column number which contains column number and actual data which we are going to insert in table widget same enumerate function but this time row data we are passing row data which is whole row and then extracting uh, column one by one and storing that 
into column table widget you can see here. now before this we have to uh, set this uh, table widgets number of row count to zero for that simply copy paste this line or insert new line here save dot table widget dot set row count in parenthesis zero now just uh, let's load this data into table widget using the table widget set item method for that simply pass object of table widget this table widget dot set item and pass no uh, no uh, row number and column number and then data we are we are going to insert but we cannot directly insert data like this for that we have to pass this data to uh, q uh, table widget item method for that this is the table widgets dot q table widget item and then convert this data into str which is uh, using functions in convert this data into string using str function pass data you can see here now now this will insert data into table widget but before that we have to insert a row then data will be inserted for that use this method ta table widget dot insert row and pass row number save this at last don't forget to close a uh, connection to database using dot close method now our code is ready our method is ready to call which is load data now let's call this method whenever user click on this load button so attach click listener to this button which is self dot btn underscore load dot clicked dot connect and pass the method name which is load data now save this and run this file which is main.py you can see here initial data is m uh, empty in table view table widget now click on load button to load data mm, something happened here wait a second table widget Yes, spelling mistake is there in line number 18 in insert low insert low okay here i forget to insert d okay now let's run again this file and click on load button mm. again spelling mistake here which is column number save and run again this file you can see here data is loaded successfully by using gui so thank you for watching